Hi, I'm Neil Day Downey, and I've just written a great new book called Ultimate Saturday Science. Three reasons to buy the book. Firstly, you might serve the planet. Secondly, you've got a practical feel for the real world of science and engineering. Thirdly, you'll have some fun. But the book doesn't do anything on the shelf. So, buy, borrow, or steal a copy, read it, and do all the projects. You will need space to work in, friends to help, materials like wooden transistors, and Meccano or Erector set parts. And then you can get on to global problems like clean energy, global warming, tsunami protection. They all need new solutions. So, millions of people need to buy the book, develop an imaginative scientific mindset, and then turn to the problems of planet Earth. That's what the book should give us. Now, a lot of us know a lot of things, but we often don't have a feel for things. We used to say, see one, do one, teach one. But we tend to miss out the do one part, the practical part. And I see fully qualified engineers who don't have a feel for stuff. And that leads to problems. This book can fix that problem. And now I'm going to show you a couple of projects from the book. Uh, this is a project I call the Paperclip Club because it involves a paperclip here, some gear wheels from our rector set, and a, um, a weight which drives the whole thing. Basically, the thing would try and go around very, very fast, but the paperclip and the string on the pendulum stop it going too fast, so the pendulum acts like a regulator for the system. Uh, there are a few subtleties about this clock, the speed it goes, for example, and uh, if you read the book, you'll find out more. The other little project I'd like to show you now is what I call the carrot cannon. Now, for this, you need a stick and a carrot, and also a tube. And what you do is you take the carrot and you uh, push it sideways up one end of the tube and sideways up the other end of the tube. One of the pieces of carrot is going to make a piston. The other piece of carrot is going to make a projectile. And basically, we're going to push one towards the other. We're going to accumulate some compressed air in between. And we're going to produce a high-speed carrot projectile. <laughs> There we are. And it's all down to Mr. Boyle's law. So, get a hold of my book, Ultimate Saturday Science, read it, do the projects in it, and tell your friends. You'll learn how the world works, you'll save the planet, and you'll have some fun.